Okay, so we just tested one point. Uh, our function was f of x is equal to negative two over three, x three minus one over two, x squared plus x. The quick numbers that we got was x is equal to negative one and x is equal to negative Look, when the class cuts, for me to start looking for the previous word is a tricky issue. I have to go in the file. I would advise you to be taking the screenshots when I just once you see that the body is true. I will notify you that the class will be cutting so we get this function. So we got these critical numbers, and when you use negative one in the original function, we got a point negative one, comma negative five over six. And we said this is an extreme. Uh, this is the minimum. a minimum extreme point. Next, we go to the same F and take half now. We take half for the X, so we'll have negative two over three, three minus half, half squared plus half. This is going to be negative two over five by one over eight minus one over four um, multiplied by one over two. One over four is one over two. One plus one over two. Giving us a two here, one, two here, uh, four. So we have negative one over four minus one over eight plus one over two. So put things together, the common denominator is twenty four. And then this guy goes in twice, the other one times. So the other one is three and then 12. So we get seven over two. Oh. So we have another point, a half comma seven over 24. That we are calling a maximum, a maximum x record. Hello? So, excuse me, what we need to do is substitute, substitute this number in the original function, the previous session. So I will substitute that one. Negative one. It gave you three. When you substitute negative, negative one, it will give you three. Then you're putting negative five over six. But we didn't get three in the other session. The other session. What is f negative one? It is negative two over three, negative one power three, minus half, negative one side, minus one. This was two over three, minus one or two, minus one over three. Common denominator is six. Three is two. Two by two will get four. Minus two in six are three here. One into six is six, so we have six here. And this is four plus nine plus six. Which is five or six. All right, I thought you were substituted in the one that you differentiated. You substitute in the original function to get here. All right, sir. So, sir. So, this math doesn't seem. For so, indeed, four minus three. One, one minus six. One, oh. six. okay. <laughs> I don't know if it does that. Like you find the value which is that if you call the maximum and which is supposed to be minimum. What of one point? Point is same thing. Like where there is negative minimum, where there is positive maximum. The numbers we tested are the number that has given us these points. We tested negative one. It gave us negative five over six. So the, where negative one belongs, that point is enough. We tested half. Where half belongs, that point is the maximum. We're not worried about these figures. These are kind of because I've used half. So this is the one. 
So the nature of negative one determines the nature of the And let's catch. Um, sir. Sir. Yeah. Please can you repeat on the mum and the mum? We get confused on how we usually oh. use there. Oh, no, it is. <laughs> Just can we summarize on how you break the map and the map mom? I want to confirm something to create something. Okay, we are given that. Then we differentiate it. We get this to zero. We get the x. If we get that this is positive, then we we'll call the point where it will belong as the minimum point. F prime prime B. If we get as a negative number, then we say this can be the wrong is not small. So we have negative one, comma negative five over six as a turning point. We also have uh, have, have comma seven over twenty-four as the turning point. When x is zero, we get zero as an intercept. So our curve would look like this. What is not known are just these two intercepts, this one and this one. Which you can solve by taking function to zero. We've answered the sketch part. Well, these lines and they suppose to touch negative one and then go to negative five over six and then positive one over two. We don't touch any, we don't touch these one and turning points, not intercepts. Is there a question? Thank you, sir. Sir. Mm -hmm. sir. So to find the values of x, we need to equate the original equal to zero. Yes. On that as uh, x to the power three. Original equation. So you just say the original equation. So which one? The original. Sorry, I didn't get you. You just use the original. The original equation is the equation given. So how can you go about it, sir? Is that the power three there? You go to the zero. All right, all right. Thank you, sir. Do we care about the power? <laughs> yeah, so is there a case whereby the values of x are all positives or negatives? Yeah. And so how to determine which one is the minimum or the maximum no, 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 no. value? Then how we determine, we are using same derivative. It doesn't matter whether x is positive okay. or negative. What we are interested in is what is the sign of the second digit? It is not tell us whether it is near or maximum. If they're both, then they're both so. We don't care. Okay. It's not about negative one okay, because it's negative. Uh -uh. How do you get f of x to zero? Okay. What about x? You can see in the quadratic this being there to go. <laughs> Mm. Mm. f of x equal to one minus two sine x over two will be a function. 
वन अंतरियंत ऑफ़ द फंक्शन एफ ऑफ़ एक्स टू स्टेच एफ ऑफ़ एक्स In the interval negative two pi, this is equal to x. This is equal to three pi. And three, find all solutions to the equation f of x is equal to two in the interval. So three solve f of x is equal to two in zero. This equal to x. This equal to three pi. Solution. Not complicated. Yeah. Hello. Let's take a previous photo. Just want to check on the graph. Thank you. Part one, determine the amplitude and the period of the function. The amplitude of the function is given by the absolute value of negative two, which is equal to two. Since we know that this function f of x was supposed to appear in the form a plus b, in fact, we write it in the form, in the form a sine bx plus c plus b. We know that the modulus of a is the amplitude and the period. The period, the period is um, given by two pi over b. In this case, we get two pi over b. B is the coefficient of x. Our function is one minus two sine x over two, meaning that the coefficient of x is half. So we divide by half and obtain two pi multiplied by two over one, which is equal to four pi. Two, we want to sketch. Sketch f of x in the given interval. To sketch, we need the scale. The scale we defined as the period over four. The period is four pi over four, we get pi. That is the scale. Yeah. Hello? When did that one over two come from? The coefficient of x in the function. Are you able to see the coefficient of x in the function side? No, sir. A coefficient is a number that is multiplied by the coefficient, by the variable. So 
So x over two is the same as one over two x. Are you able to see the condition now? Yes. Thank you. And so, sorry, on the original <laughs> question. Okay, it's fine. All right. So we have that at the scale. Then we also get the horizontal, the horizontal shift or the phase shift. Sorry, so how did you get the scale? The scale you divide the period by four. So the horizontal shift, you get a zero. In this case, our point that is in is x over two. So you get x over two to zero, and locating x is equal to zero. Then we can now attempt to sketch. So this is our sketch. The scale, you start from the horizontal shift, which is So to move to the right or the left. So because we are recording, we'll ask you to be mute if you don't have a question to ask. So start from zero and add the scale. The scale is pi. So zero plus pi, we get pi. Pi plus pi, we get to pi. And two pi plus pi, we get three pi. We only go as far as three pi. And then from zero, you subtract, you get negative pi. You subtract, I get, get negative pi. We only go as far as negative two pi. The horizontal shift, you equate the inside, the angle to zero, and solve for the variable. The angle is whatever the inside sign. So we are equating x over two to zero. X will come out to be zero. And then you use it as a starting point. Starting point meaning that is where you're adding the scale for you to get the spacings on the x-axis. Then we now start with y coordinates. The y coordinates are given by if this is zero, take it in a function. F of zero is one sine zero. Sine zero is zero. So you get one. So we have zero comma one. It's not. Then f of pi, f of pi will be one minus two sine pi over two. That is one minus two. So sine 90 is one. So we get negative one. So here we get negative one. And then f of two pi, one minus two, sine two pi over two this is the same as one minus two sine pi this is one minus two minus one ah no sine pi is zero so it's direct zero there multiplied by zero which is one so we have one again so here we've got one and then we have getting one then we substitute f of three pi We'll get one minus two sine three pi over two. Sine is negative one. So we get one plus two, which is three. So we have three against this number. Okay, so when we get this number, then it's okay. On this, we know that because I have that here, the shape sign uh, looks like looks like this. So if I have obtained this number and this number down, then it's okay, you can start sketching. Because the number next should then give us this one, and then the next one should give us this one. 
so that we have the sketch coming out in this form. So I've done the sketching, then solve f of x is equal to two in the given interval. <clears throat> so take screenshots. <coughs> okay. Then f of x is equal to two. So can I see a previous word? Oh, Hello. How how did you do on the negative side? What do you mean on the negative side? Which side? Which negative? I mean, I mean your x your negative x value. How did you get there? Uh, high value. Come on. There's an eight, but now we can do it. It's not so much Mention a value. Eight, 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 eight. Yes, but. Sir, I mean, the negative, there's negative five, negative two pi. When we're replacing here, we're just replacing the positives. Now, how do we manage the negative? So initially, we said that for as long as you get three different numbers, then you stop solving for values. These three numbers will keep repeating themselves as you follow the values that we are in the scale. So by the time I'll get one here, only three critical values. These three coordinates are supposed to be zero, but they've, they've moved to one. So you don't need, you don't get all that out and the shift. It does all the shifts for you. So f of x is equal to two. So we have one minus sine, one minus two sine x over two is equal to two. So we take this one the other side, we'll have negative two sine x over two is equal to two minus one. Meaning that negative two sine x over two is equal to one. Divide by negative two, divide by negative two. So sine x over two is equal to negative half. <coughs> Let theta be equal to x over two. Hello? How do I find you again by doing what I've been doing? On top well, the question says, solve f of x is equal to two. Whenever you're solving a function equal to something, you're looking for the x values in that function. So we're solving for x. Okay. So now we let x over two to be theta and then substitute back and say sine theta is equal to negative half. Then we find theta. So let's find theta. What value theta gives us half? If we ignore the negative, we know that theta is equal to 30, gives us half. But this half must be in the third and fourth quadrant. So what is 30 in the third quadrant? In the third quadrant, 30 is 180 plus 30, which is equal to 210. And in the fourth quadrant, 
30 is 360 uh, minus 30, which is equal to 330. Sir, this is under what topic? So every time you see sign, you know it is triggered. Is it okay? So sine, cos, sec, tan, cot, they make trigonometry. <coughs> so after we get theta is equal to 210, we go to what we have said theta should be. Theta is x over two. So you say x over two is equal to 210. And then multiply throughout, you have x is equal to 210 by two, which is equal to 420. You know? You break on the Why is it equated to two? That's what the question says. So I mean the quadrant, but you are saying one multiplies three to the Okay, there's somebody asking why it is equated to two. That is what the question is asking us to do. Thank you. On the quadrants, we said that to find the reference angles in the first quadrant, <coughs> The reference angle. So in the second quadrant is 180 minus x. In the third quadrant, it's here 180 plus x. Or the other way around. Then here is 360 minus x. If I'm using x. So I found 420, then the other theta, x over two is 330. Again, you cross multiply, you get x is equal to 330 by two, which is equal to 660. And then convert them to radians, then those will be your solutions. <coughs> so to be cutting, quickly take the screenshot and lock back. So please repeat when we get back. So, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm sure the where we will have similar concepts, so we'll get more of it.